This is the opening screen for the Realnex CRM. At the top right, you'll find buttons to make a feature request or get support, as well as a Guide Me app that walks you through using the program. Next are the menus that give you access to functions in the software. Underneath the menus are a set of buttons that open the different tables. Underneath the buttons on the left are three different views you can use to access your data. Tile view, the list view, and the map view. Along with those three views, you can also display a split view using the arrow on the far right. The arrow is only available if your screen is wide enough to split the screen in two views. Next to the views, you'll find functions to quickly restrict and order your data. Use filters to restrict the data you see in almost any way you can think of. Each table will also have an order drop-down. Click one of those to change the order. The type drop-down will filter your records by type. If you have groups, you can select a group to filter your records by that group. And you can quickly search your records using the keyword field. Type in a value and records with that value will be returned. Under this row are functions to update or output bulk records. These options change depending on if you have selected records. You can create and add your records to a group, look up linked records, export data, run reports, and set up the columns you want to see in the list view. Using Global Replace, you can also bulk update fields in your table. In Tile View, you'll see the links that let you jump to a related record. In this case, I'm looking at contacts and I see there is a link to their company. If I click that, it will auto open the company in a new tab. That makes it easy to see all the contacts at this company. I also see the phone numbers and emails. Clicking those will dial your phone or load an email form. At the bottom, I can see how many records are available. Next to the total number of records is how many I can see on one page. I have it set to 45. The more records you include on a page, the slower each page loads, so it's a good idea to keep the list small unless there's some reason you need to see a lot of records on one page. Lastly, on the bottom right, you'll see the pages. You can click a page number to jump to that page. Let's take a quick look at the split view. First, I'll switch to a list of records by clicking the list view button. Next, I'll open the split view. Because I'm able to easily set the columns I see, I can tailor the list on my left to fields that match my current task. I use the list on the left to drive and the panel to see and update the information. For example, as I'm making calls, it's useful to see the history of who else talked to the contact and what was said. On this first record, I see Lisa is already working closely on a deal with Jonathan, so I'll skip that record and go to the next one. History can be very helpful. Here's another example. In this, I've changed to the property table and the map view on the left. Notice as I click on the map, I see the related property on the right. Each time I click on a different pin, I see the property related to it. Here's an example in Contacts, where I want to update my tenants. First, I'll change my columns to a saved list I made. Next, I'll change the split screen to show the tenant information. The information I want to see is in the Lease tab, so I'll close up a few sections I don't need right now to bring the Lease section up closer to the top. I also want to see the Business section so I'll collapse the top section too. Now I can use the list on the left to navigate to each tenant I want to update and my screen remembers my settings. Mm -hmm.